from this little series of movies you may have heard of called Star Wars, it's Boba Fett, as seen in Return of the Jedi. This is the Star Wars Saga Collection action figure, which has incredible detailing and even comes with a little plastic holographic Vader. Let's play with Boba Fett in front of Pac-Man, which makes sense because Pac-Man was released in 1980, the same year that Boba Fett first debuted in The Empire Strikes Back. Coincidence? I think not. Now you know what Boba Fett does with all of the quarters that he earns from collecting bounties. I like this figure a lot, but it's more fun as a poseable, collectible figure than one to actually give to the kids to play with. Or to play with yourself, because he really doesn't have a whole lot of motion, his arms are kind of locked in that one position. But he has fire from his jetpack, which looks pretty cool, especially when there's a lot of light. And it's not like real fire, it's, it's plastic, so he can stand on it and it just makes for a cool display figure. So cool that I'm going to put it on top of Pac-Man. Nobody is going to mess with my Pac-Man machine when Boba Fett is on guard. Sure, he's a famous intergalactic bounty hunter, but prior to his career as, as bounty hunter, he was a mall guard. Bet you didn't know that. So thanks to my man Al from Chicago, Illinois for sending Boba Fett and Mini Vader to the show. Nobody forgets about Mini Vader and lives. These actually sit better on top of Millipede than Pac-Man, and I highly recommend this figure because it looks great and it displays your love for Boba Fett, who's awesome. So head on over to ClassicGameRoom.com, create an account, watch the review of Quarth for Game Boy, and check out the Star Wars Saga Collection Boba Fett.